Greetings everybody. So we are here with some Anona fruits. Uh, this one is Anona reticulata without any question, but this one's red. In the past I've reviewed yellow ones. This is not a yellow one. Um, I believe it's it's all the same, but there might be some sort of difference in flavor when you have a red one. I'm not entirely sure, but this one we're excited about. This might also be Anona reticulata, but the vendor had several that match this color, which is a very bright yellow, and I've never seen one that was bright yellow like this before. And also like this kind of like oblong, or like kind of like male formed shape. So it does look quite different. All the ones that I've seen before have been more like roundish, like they're heart shaped. That's why they have the nickname uh, Bull's Heart. This one is not so much. It's more like blobby looking. Yeah. Yeah, so. There's a related species called Anona senegalensis that's mm -hmm. supposed to be in the area. And I have seen some yellow small ones on the, on the side of the road. And we're thinking maybe this might be it, but it might not be. So basically, if you cut open one of these, uh, the Senegalensis on the inside is yellow, the Anona reticulata on the inside is white. So if we cut this open and it's yellow, we're gonna both like scream like little girls. We're gonna be like mm -hmm. so super excited because we found something super rare. If mm -hmm. we cut this open and it's white, we're gonna what, cry or something. We're not gonna be so super happy. Let's do it, moment of truth. What could it be? Will it be white or will it be yellow? Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> nope. It's not. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry, Stephen. It is uh, yep. unfortunately something that is very rare, but not quite so rare. So there's the yellow one. Oh. So we're going to go and do a comparison of yellow against red. Wouldn't it be awesome if I cut this one open and it'll be like blue inside or something? Be like, wait a minute, we did find something weird. But, uh, nope. Two reticulatas. One that's red on the outside, one that's yellow. Here, let's start with the red one. There you go. Alrighty. On the inside, it looks uh, pretty much exactly like the one that I had in India. Uh, slight cream color to it. It's a little... little more of like a cream tinge to it than a cherimoya, which is like pure white on the inside. It smells about the same, kind of like coconut yogurt. That's what the, the last one tasted like. Mm -hmm. Coconut yogurt. Mm -hmm. That's what I get. Do you get something? Because that's my opinion. What, what do you think when you eat this thing? I mean, it, it, it reminds me of cherimoya, which, mm -hmm. you know, if you've had cherimoya, it's, it's similar to that, though not as sweet. Um, a lot more wild, um, mild um, than cherimoya. Um, it's more starchy than cherimoya. Um, I mean, it's, it is a great fruit. Um, I quite like these a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, it has a little bit of acidity, but not much. So what you're saying is it tastes exactly like coconut yogurt. Yeah. <laughs> okay. This one's like ooey gooey. There you go. Okay. That one. Yeah. It feels a lot softer. Yeah, this one is uh, much softer. Yeah, it's yellow on the outside. It's kind of odd. I feel like yellow ones are just like turning red, but that is not the case. Or maybe it's like picked a little early or something. This one's super soft. Tastes different. Yeah. Um, the acidity is a little bit higher. Mm hmm. In a very good way. I'd say this tastes better than the other one. Yep. It's also, I think, a little bit sweeter. It's a little sweeter, a little more tart. I mean, they're very sweet. Like this one, I'd give probably like a 7 out of 10 uh, on the sweetness scale. This one, 8, 9. Okay. It's like, it's up there. This one, I would say, tastes very similar. Mm -hmm. It still has that, that yogurty kind of flavor, mm -hmm. but because it's a little tart, maybe less like a coconut yogurt and more like a mango yogurt or something. Okay. But... I can see that. So I think there's a lot of just variation like tree to tree. It's not really like a species thing. It's not a color thing. It's more like a tree thing. A lot of them are very starchy, and this is not really very starchy. 
Um, it, uh, I think that's because it's riper. That's probably true. Yeah. Maybe maybe a little bit more of a banana flavor as well. Kind of a little bit banana-y. Yeah. Banana flavor, like a, like a ripe banana. Yeah. I think that exists in both of these, but yeah. This is Get, a little bit more pronounced. You're getting that. Texture is kind of like a soft banana as well. Do you prefer this or Cherimoya? What is your favorite Anona? Cherimoya. Well, I didn't even have to think yeah. about it. Uh, I like this differently. It's just like if I wanted something more like creamy and more, like, I would probably go with this. Like Cherimoyas, I feel like are, are really good. They're a little bit more mild. Uh, I still think my favorite one is probably like an Atamoya, which is like a Cherimoya and a sugar apple mixed together. I think that one's, or maybe a Rolinia. Rolinias are pretty good too. Those are good too. They're not technically Anonas. Well, they were. Well, I, I think they just merged them again. This is very uh, controversial f fruit nerd talk, guys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> those are good too. Those, those are those have more of a lemon meringue flavor. Yeah, yeah, more of a lemony taste. Um, yeah, so I think that's about it. So yellow ones, red ones, both good for different reasons. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think it's more of a matter of a tree rather than color or shape or size or anything. Depends where you're getting it, and um, unfortunately not the unknown uh, Seneca lensis, but maybe we'll find that. I yeah, looking. I think we go back to the market and, and have our guy ask to see if they have one with the orange flesh. We will continue the hunt and uh, we'll see you next time. Well, I really hope you enjoyed that video, guys. If you did, you may want to check out the video that is below me right now. That should be good, too. Also, if you haven't subscribed already, it is a huge help to my channel, so please do consider subscribing or clicking that bell. That does something, too. Not sure what it is. Also, check out the description below. There's all sorts of other things I have going on. I don't even know anymore. But guys, I will see you next time. Take care.